Good morning, visitors. Um, the Co Luisa, that vessel, is going to be here in just about 10 ish minutes. I will start the fun announcement around then. Our museum is also now open, so if you are holding in your tinkle, now's the perfect time to run in before the boat gets here. Good morning again, guys. I kind of lied. That boat's moving a lot faster than 10 minutes, so if you're in the museum and you're not by a window, move to one now or go outside. It's a little chilly, though. But right now, we do have the Co Luisa coming through. The Co Luisa was built in 2008 by a Chinese shipyard. She measures 452 feet in length, 68 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a 7,200 horsepower, six-cylinder man diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 15 knots or about 70 miles per hour. The Co Luisa has three hatches on her deck, which open into three cargo holds located below deck. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 14,000 tons. Above her deck are two cranes capable of carrying 200 tons each, which allow her to unload or load heavy cargo like wind turbine towers, blades, and shipping containers. She is owned and operated by BD Ships Navo of Heron, Germany, and chartered by Splithof of Amsterdam, Netherlands. She is registered in Antigua and Barbuda. Barbuda. The registered country isn't necessarily where the ship or crew are from, but whose ship, but whose laws the ship or crew follow. and those two big cranes can carry about 200 tons each. This boat's pretty cool with stats. It's a little short, but it's all right. When it comes to remaining vessel traffic today, I do know that if you folks want to see another boat, you have a chance around 6 p.m. If you also note, outside of our harbor, we have two vessels out there anchored. 
They want to get wheat. Wheat docks are closed on the weekends, so maybe we'll see them come in tonight. But maybe we'll see them come in tomorrow morning. Maybe we'll see them wait out there for a couple more days. You never really know. Hello, Code Louise, 18, North Carolina. Hello. There, we can hear each other now. Yeah, I was, uh, I don't know, they had your radio on the Anyway, we got it. Sounds good, sounds good. I've been uh, going in stern first there, huh? Uh, negative, negative, head in, head in. Head in, and, and where are you going? Uh, port 2. Port Terminal 2, okay, okay. Uh, how do you want to use me here today? Is it on the side, or you want to take a line, or? No, I think I'm just going to keep you floating free, and then uh, maybe kind of something to do. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, we'll just ride along on your... Uh, starboard side there then, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, just be there in case you uh, need a push. Okay, sounds good. Want me to kind of snuggle up on the quarter here in case you need to boost the liner up? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Okay. Who's this? This is a chip. This is Dean, and if I had to guess, I guess this is Steve. Uh, negative, sir. No, well, I had a wild shot. I have been called Steve before, so I must have a pretty similar call. Yeah, I guess. Alright, Eric. Anyways, yeah, I'll, uh, snuggle up against here and be ready to get rid of the show. Yeah, Chip's, uh, digging in Missouri and, I don't know, some barge from somewhere, somewhere around here. He's going to work at today, so they're getting that already. Now you know what the hooting was about. I'm start shooting through that lane, and I'm probably going to give her just a little bit of uh, turn in. I call Louisa. Chip is the orange cone. Okay. Yeah, let me just stay here, Eric, or slide up a little bit. Right, go ahead and slide up a little bit. Probably about the first one right there. Okay. How's that, Eric? Okay, uh, thanks a lot, sir. Nice job bringing her in there. Okay, you guys have a good day. We'll see you next time.